Here's my Tesla coil out here. Um, there's the NSTs, the MC, and the spark gap. Uh, we'll be making a rotary gap tomorrow and probably also yeah, powered by an MOT stack. Um, this is a uh, 5,000 volt NSTs in parallel, so a 4,000 volt MOT stack should work. Um, plus, I can use my other Variac, or I can crank it up to about 140 volts, or I can just rewire this one too, so I should get an equivalent uh, voltage of that. And also, I have some more capacitors that I can add to the bank so that I can have more capacitance and bigger arcs and all that. But this is what I have so far. Hopefully, this gap will be cooperating. It was just cooperating, but since I got the camera out, you know, it'll probably decide to stop working. But whatever. Um, second try today. Uh, the or second videoing of it today. The first one, I got small arcs, but I modified it. And I'm getting bigger arcs now, uh, about a foot. Uh, naturally, it stops. The gap stops right as I get up to it. Uh, hang on. Now I need to wait for the caps to discharge. Got some 10 mega ohm bleed resistors on there. And there's a strike rail too. Um, when I have more power going through it, then that will be needed. That's about where I had it earlier, when I was getting good arcs from it, or good streamers. Ooh, <laughs> holding that tube gave me a little uh, tingling in my hand, so I threw it down. So that's probably not good. That's directly in the air, no grounding posts or anything. And my spark gap is melting right now. Well, the plastic holding it apart, so... Um, it's getting, the output's getting smaller. This camera appears blue, but in real life it's uh, purple. And yeah, the output's getting a lot smaller. My the plastic holding apart the electrodes in my gap is melting. But yeah, the output is uh, much smaller now. But I will be making a rotary gap, which I'll be able to control when it fires, and I did tune it, so where are my little tuning pieces? Um, it's in tune, but yeah, my NSTs are shorter now. Uh, let's go over here and shut it off. So, yeah, tomorrow, hopefully we found it with some microwave oven transformers. Uh, ballasted, obviously, because they're quite dangerous. Um, 
But yeah, thanks for watching. If you uh, have any suggestions for this, then uh, leave them in the comment section. Or just want to say anything, then definitely uh, feel free to leave something in the comment section. Um, those are Cornell Dublier capacitors. Uh, 0.1 microfarad. Um, I was going to get 0.15, but with uh, NSTs, it'd have to be like this. But if I want to run on MOTs now, the, I'm kind of regretting my decision. That, But I have some more, so I can just add another row in uh, parallel. I think I already said this, and maybe in the last video I tried to make I don't remember. Because I've tried to remake this video multiple times, because this part gap wasn't cooperating. But, uh, yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and just do one more overlook of it primary secondary is 26 gauge uh, copper wire there's my NMC four capacitors in series two strings of that in parallel two neon transformers hooked in parallel and let's just get a closer look at my spark gap which is a couple of copper pipes, and you can see they're nearly touching, and they are touching on one side because uh, the plastic melted below there, and you can kind of see how they're sunk down to it. Uh, that's because it melted, but uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.